Let's understand the functions of statistics. Functions can be divided into condensation, comparison, forecasting, estimation, test of hypothesis. What is condensation? In condensation, what we do is we will reduce or lessen the mass amount of data so that we can understand them with very few observations. Look at this. When, when we say condense, we are reducing or lessening the data so that we can understand huge mass data with very few observations. Say for example, you are given the mark list of all students in a school. It will serve no purpose. But if you are given average marks or range of marks of students, that would serve even a better purpose. Okay, so that's what condensation does. Condensation reduces complexity and that is one of the function of statistics. Then comes comparison. See, we can condense the data by classification tabulation. These are all the methods for condensing the data and that would enable us to compare the data collected from different sources. And we have tools like measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, graphs and diagrams, coefficient of correlation, which have a scope for comparison. And let me give you an example. Let's say we have rice production of a particular district. We can compare that with itself. We can compare with others and we can understand the rice production in a better way. Okay. Then comes forecasting. Forecasting means predicting or estimating. Let's say, for example, we have rainfall data for the past 10 years. Then we can predict or forecast the rainfall for the near future. Similarly, in business also, we have production forecast, sales forecast, profit forecast, and so on. And we have tools like time series, regression analysis. They play very, very important role in forecasting. Next comes estimation. Here, the main objective is to draw inference about the population from the sample drawn from the population. Okay, Statistics is going to help us to estimate how we will draw inference about the population from the sample which are drawn from the population. And for this estimation, we have branches of statistical inference. They are estimation theory, test of hypothesis, non-parametric test, sequential analysis. Let us not worry about these tests or these uh, technical names. We'll be understanding them gradually in later sessions. Then finally comes test of hypothesis. What do we mean by statistical hypothesis? Statistical hypothesis are nothing but a statement about probability distribution, which is going to characterize the population from the information which are available from sample observations. So what do we mean by this? Here we have some information from sample observations and that is going to characterize population. That is, we are going to make a statement about it. Okay. So the formulation and testing of hypotheses are useful statistical methods. And to understand this better, just have a look at this example. Number one, we are trying to understand whether crop yield has increased because of fertilizer. If, if yes or no, then we are making a statistical hypothesis. New medicine, is it effective in eliminating a particular disease? We are making a statistical hypothesis. Okay, So these are all the broad functions of statistics.